Harvard Space Science students. Thank you for joining me in our convection cell demonstration. What I have here is just a plastic pan with some lukewarm room temperature water in it. These cups here at the bottom are empty. They're just here for stability. So I'm going to take one more cup and I'm going to fill it up with some boiling water. Trying to get it right to the top here. And I'm going to slide this one underneath and right into the middle. Now we believe that convection cells are the driving force for plate tectonics. They're actually what causes, what gives the energy to the earth to move the plates. Put one more underneath here for stability. Now, that heat in the center of the pan will start to heat up the water molecules in the pan and you know that heat causes things to rise and also to expand. As that heat continually will cause the water to rise, it'll have nowhere else to go but to push out to the sides. Hopefully we'll be able to see that and I'm going to demonstrate this by adding some red food coloring right to the bottom here. Just a few drops will be fine. And hopefully what you'll be able to see now is you'll be able to see that red food coloring rising up in the middle. And it'll start moving out to each side as it has nowhere else to go. If we wanted to expand our demonstration just a little bit, we can take some blue food coloring if you like and put it in at the sides because a fully complete convection cell will actually cause that cooler water out here at the sides to then start making its way towards the center as the heat forces it. While that's happening, let's just go to our diagram here. Remember, this is all an example of what's really going on in the Earth. Now, our setup here is trying to show the real plate tectonics that's happening in our Earth. The water in the clear pan is really the magma and the mantle. The heat source will come from the core, and as we said, it will cause the magma and the mantle to rise and to spread out to either side. Now the Earth's plates will be riding up here on top of that magma in the mantle, or the top of the mantle that we call the asthenosphere, and those plates will be forced to move because of that heat that's moving through the mantle. And there's your convection cell. So if we go back to our demonstration, looks like it's really moving now. You can see that the red liquid from the middle rising up and expanding out. And we see it just a little bit, just starting that blue food coloring starting to move its way towards the center as the cell makes its way around. And that warm water that rose up moves out to the sides and now will start pushing that cooler water towards the center. And that's your convection cell.